What's up, you guys? Today we are in the San Fernando Valley in the Los Angeles County on the western side of the San Fernando Valley in a neighborhood called West Hills. And I'm gonna be giving you a full driving tour of West Hills, a lot of the neighborhoods, a couple of the shops, restaurants, a few of the schools. We're gonna go starting from the northeast portion of it, just off to Panga and Chase. And we're gonna work our way all the way down southwest to Knapp Ranch, to West Hills Little League, and it borders Hidden Hills, Calabasas down there, and Woodland Hills as well, off to Panga. So just come with me on this driving tour and let's check it out. All right guys, here we are. So we are currently on Shoop and about to be on Roscoe here in West Hills. And West Hills is a very special neighborhood to me personally because I grew up in the San Fernando Valley. I actually went to high school in West Hills. We're gonna be passing by my old high school of Chaminade College Preparatory. Unbelievable high school, have so many good things to say about it. Nothing bad, I've met so many great people in high school in those four years that I was there. But currently, Roscoe and Shoop, let's turn right. Roscoe is one of the bigger main streets in West Hills. As you can see, it cuts from east to west completely. Very wide streets, big sidewalks, and you can see the mountains in the distance as it goes all the way to Hidden Hills. Those mountains are the border of the LA County actually. And you can get to Bell Canyon. The It's a very well-known community. It's very similar to Hidden Hills, but a little bit on the lower end and not lower end. Joe Rogan actually had a house in Hidden Hills for $5 million and he sold it right before he moved to Texas. But now we're currently passing Fallbrook, Fallbrook and Roscoe right now. We'll go down Fallbrook a little later, but let's just get to the end of Roscoe here. Another street here, Wood Lake. Wood Lake will get a good amount of traffic during the school day because it is one of the big streets going to a bunch of schools. You can see school crossing right here on Justice. And I'm gonna turn right into one of these neighborhoods. And now we are going to see Bobby Boyer Street right here. And this is Justice Street Academy Charter School to the left. It's pretty secluded here and it's within the neighborhood. So you will see a lot of people walking. It is a Thursday today, so school must be in session. But I'll drive you through one of these neighborhoods as we make our way around. West Hills is a good area because it's made up of a lot of homes. You can probably get houses here from $800,000 all the way up to over 2 million and plus if you're going into Bell Canyon, but that wouldn't be considered West Hills, I guess. But let's turn on Mastro here. This area of West Hills, this specific area, is very close to my high school, as I was saying, Chaminade High School. So I knew a lot of people that grew up around these specific streets. You can see the neighborhoods are very quiet. It's just your standard suburban residential neighborhood with elementary schools, schools mixed in between, large streets, big sidewalks, no passing traffic, so you're not gonna get many commuters unless if they're going to school specifically. We're now turning on Sad Ring. We're gonna keep making our way south. 
There are also a lot of parks here in West Hills. We're gonna pass by Lazy J Ranch Park, Knapp Ranch Park. And we will turn Right on Ingemark, you, you can see that it definitely ranges in different style house. We have two story homes made up of pretty much all single family homes here in West Hills. Okay, to the right you do have a small park with a playground as well, so lots of room to bring your kids. All right, I'm gonna go straight. Okay, actually. We're gonna keep driving this way, pass through Lazy J Ranch Park, show you a couple neighborhoods over here. As you keep going west on this specific area of West Hills, you're gonna see a few more expensive houses. Here's the park to the right. When I was in high school, we used to have flag football games over at this park, even tackle football games when we were, we were younger, but you see there on the right, it's pretty big sized. We're actually gonna turn left here on Valley Circle, one of the bigger streets here in West Hills. And I'm gonna, as we go up, you see the center divider with nice tree-lined streets here. The homes here are a little bit newer. So you can see directly in front of me, we're actually passing by Neighborhood Watch, so Neighborhood Security. That's how you know that it's a good neighborhood. Streets are very large. Houses are really nice. Neighborhoods are filled with kids. You got winding hilly roads. So a lot of these houses also do have views of the San Fernando Valley. We're a little bit more elevated up here. As we go down, you can see some of the views in the distance of the valley, just cutting around these streets here. turn left here on Highlander. We're going to loop around the West Hills Hospital, show you that area, and then go over to Chaminade High School.
All right, so this part of Wood Lake, there are a good amount of townhomes, condos, and a little less expensive houses if you still want to be in West Hills, but don't want to spend over a million dollars these days. To the right side, now you got the West Hills Hospital. And they are constantly, they are constantly upgrading these streets, guys. You can see the street was just completely redone, newly painted. We have a couple of gated communities on the left side here with that Mediterranean styled home. And then we have Cohasset, which if you turn left, that'll lead you back through Platt. here on the left and this is Chaminade High School on the right my old stomping grounds there's the baseball field that I played on for four years so many memories and they're constantly upgrading this place so I haven't been here in a long long time so I wonder what are what's new but this is the entrance to the right like I said this is tucked in a nice neighborly residential area Let's turn this way to show you guys Another gate to get into the high school and this is a private high school there are a couple public high schools in West Hills as well we'll show you that El Camino is the is the public high school right next door yeah we didn't like them when we were on the baseball team that was uh, technically our rivals the public school rival that being said we didn't play them too often but just because they were down the street they were our sports team rival But Chaminade actually plays Notre Dame, Harvard Westlake, Alamany, a couple of the other private schools. Couple, those are very well known private schools in the Valley. If you guys haven't heard of those before. All right, back on Platt, we're gonna go up this street, go down into some of the shops in West Hills. We'll go back to Valley Circle, show you around El Camino, what the high school's like over there. So this is Platt. You really don't go on Platt unless you're in West Hills. Platt isn't one of those big streets like Topanga where you're gonna be going from the north end of the valley to the south end. Platt really is just a large but smaller street here in West Hills. As you can see, we have some of the bigger shopping districts. To the left, you have Pavilions, a Rite Aid, the West Hills Animal Hospital, a bank, Wells Fargo, Wow, that is a brand, that is a new El Pollo Loco. I've actually never seen that logo of an El Pollo Loco. That, I gotta, it's making me crave El Pollo Loco, just switching up the logo. Then you got a McDonald's to the right here. A Goodwill, a Subway, Carl's Jr. All the good stuff. I'm gonna turn right on Victory, actually. We've been on Platte too long. We'll show you. Victory, one of the main streets. Now, Victory is one of the bigger streets in the valley. It cuts from the east side to the west side, completely through the entire San Fernando Valley. But you see this is a wide street, tree-lined street, large sidewalks. 
and directly in front of us you have some of the hills in West Hills so I'm glad I took this turn because you guys can see a couple of the other neighborhoods obviously the view properties are gonna be a little bit more expensive than these but just giving you guys a feel of what it's like to live here in the valley here in West Hills And I mean, location-wise, guys, it's right next to Calabasas, right next to Hidden Hills, so you're five minutes away from the ever-so-famous Kardashians. I mean, if, if those, if you love those guys, you know, I'm not a hater. I, I like the Kardashians. You're you're right next to all of their houses here in West Hills. It's crazy. Like when people say where I went to high school, I usually just say Calabasas because most people know of Calabasas, but it's right next to West Hills. It's basically in the same vicinity, so. All right, let's take a left back onto Valley Circle. And Valley Circle will take us all the way down to Calabasas.